Hello there, Westworld fans. It feels like it's been an eternity since the end of Season 1 of Westworld. We're only a couple months away from Season 2, and I'm glad to be talking Westworld with you guys again. Everybody thinks we're some type of Game of Thrones channel, you know, that we're a bunch of Game of Thrones freaks, but Westworld is really the only reason our channel exists. If you've been with us since we started reviewing Westworld, please comment below. Ah, that was those were good times, getting no sleep and researching everything like I was writing a thesis. Today we are going to take a closer look at the first official Westworld Season 2 trailer, so let's dive right into this thing. And I swear to God, if any of you comment doesn't look like anything to me, I'm gonna... Look at this world. This beautiful world. We built this world together. A world where dreams come true. Well, the first thing to note about this trailer is the cover song. It's a piano cover of the Kanye West song Runaway from his fifth album, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which could have easily been the title of Westworld. The cover starts as a solo piano, and then the orchestra joins in around the 38 second mark. This world deserves to die. Because this is your it's a clever choice of song because we left off season one with Dolores fully embracing her role as Wyatt, the rebellious host created by the malicious Dr. Ford, and she seems poised to lead a host rebellion against the proprietors of Westworld. In season one, she was an individual experiment for the possibility of host consciousness over the course of 30 years. Now she will be leading the charge of collective hosts against their creators. Evan Rachel Wood, who portrays Dolores, narrates the trailer, and she talks about how both human and host built Westworld together, but it only gave humanity the opportunity to be free. She then says that the world is a lie, which it is. It's a fantasy world that, according to Dolores, belongs to man, but not to host. In order to save this world, Dolores says that they need to burn it down and build a new one. It's interesting to note that there are several shots throughout this trailer where specific hosts are seen attacking humans, but there are no shots of the hosts united. It makes me wonder if the conflict between host and human will not be the only conflict we see in season two. Maybe there will be a power struggle amongst the hosts. To me, Maeve and Dolores are the two strongest candidates to lead them. Both became fully self-aware by the end of season one, and they both understand the circumstances of the park. These two characters barely interacted in season one, but I expect them to have more scenes in season two. There are a few shots of Maeve in this trailer. One features her leading a group of bulls, I guess you can call them mechanical bulls, into the maintenance area of the park. Maeve decided to return to the park after nearly escaping at the end of season one. She returns because she wants to retrieve her daughter. Near the beginning of the trailer, there is a shot that appears to be a flashback of Maeve and her daughter, or it could be in real time, where Maeve actually finds and rescues her. Going back to the topic of leadership, Maeve seems to have selfish motivations, and this may create a rift between her and the other hosts. For example, Dolores is ready to burn down the park and build a new world. At the end of season one, Maeve was ready to leave Westworld and experience life in the real world. So the motivations are slightly different between the two main hosts. There's also another shot where it appears that Maeve is riding on horseback, and there's another shot where she's looking up at the snowfall. And as for Dolores, we see her a couple of times in this trailer. There's a shot where she's riding on horseback, accompanied by Teddy, and it looks like the duo are gunning down park guests. In another shot, we see Dolores and Bernard laughing together. This relationship wasn't established until the season finale of season one, but Dolores was shown to have a close relationship with Arnold, the man who co-created Westworld with Dr. Ford, and who Bernard is designed after. The final shot of the trailer features Dolores in front of three masked men. She says that the hosts are going to build a new world that belongs to them. It's unknown who these men are, but a similar group appears earlier in the trailer. They are dressed in black masks, and they are also equipped with guns and weapons. Maybe this is Dolores' new army of followers, the new version of Wyatt's men from season one. I'm very interested in the role that Bernard is going to play in season two. In season one, he was a brilliant scientist who admired his mentor, Dr. Ford, but after discovering his true nature, he embraces his role as Arnold's successor. He wants to free the hosts, so he will most likely team up with Dolores. It appears that he may be playing both sides. The employees of Westworld don't know that Bernard is a host, so he could possibly position himself as the new CEO of the park, or just maintain his current title. In this shot, we see Bernard and a security team overlooking a shoreline in the park. Dozens of dead bodies are sprawled throughout the beach. It is unknown if they are human or host. 
This may be the same location where Dr. Ford debuted his new narrative, Journey into Night, and this may be the aftermath of his massacre. There is also a shot that shows the morning after Ford's retirement party, where he and Dolores massacred several board members and Delos investors. One of the great twists of season one was the use of multiple time periods, having narratives separated by several decades playing out simultaneously. Now that the jig is up, we know that characters like Logan are appearing in sequences that precede the main events. Here we see Logan and a young woman attending a party. Everyone but Logan and this young woman are absolutely still frozen in place. So these people are probably hosts being controlled by a young Arnold or Dr. Ford. I lean towards Ford because right before this shot, we see a woman playing the piano, and it appears that she is frozen right before the frame cuts. This is Dr. Ford's go-to move, freezing hosts in the middle of their tasks to display the power he has over them. We saw a young Ford make a couple appearances in season one, so this may be how Anthony Hopkins can return for season two. These sequences featuring Logan will probably give us more backstory as to how the man in black, William, gained control of the investment company Delos, and eventually became owner of Westworld. There's only one shot of the man in black in this trailer. He is standing in the rain with who appears to be Lawrence. He is bowing his head in sadness. Maybe he's bit off more than he can chew. The man in black is certainly a wild card in season two. He may portray himself as humanity best hope for survival against the host uprising, decades of playing the game of Westworld may provide him the skills needed to take down these hosts. After all, his primary motivation was to make the hosts sentient, so that he could have more of a challenge in killing them. He's been training his whole life for this. Ghost Nation makes several unexpected appearances in this trailer. Ghost Nation are also somewhat of a wild card. It is unknown where their allegiances lie, if they're actually sentient, or do they have an agenda of their own. We can speculate on these mystery warriors. What we know for sure is that they're going to play a bigger role in Season 2. We don't get any appearances by Ashley Stubbs, the head of security, or Elsie Hughes, Bernard's protege and my favorite character. The last we saw of Ashley, he was taken by Ghost Nation, and the last we saw of Elsie, she was being choked out by Bernard. Based on the previous teaser for season two, we know that Ashley Stubbs is alive, but we're not sure whose side he's on. Elsie Hughes is still a question mark, but if I had to put money on it, I'd say she returns in season two. Some fan-favorite supporting characters also make appearances throughout this trailer, like Dolores' father, Peter Abernathy, who was just amazing in Season 1. The last we saw of Peter, he was being uploaded with 35 years of Westworld intellectual property. Charlotte Hale, the executive director of the Board of Delos, was planning to smuggle Peter out of the park by boarding him on the passenger train. In this shot, it appears that the Westworld security team is trying to subdue and contain him for some reason. I'm really hoping that Peter Abernathy is just a badass, super genius robot in Season 2. We also get a glimpse of Clementine, who is back in maintenance after appearing with the host army at the end of Season 1. This could be a signal that the hosts were successfully fought back and some of them were even killed and reprogrammed. It also looks like this coincides with Maeve storming the maintenance area with the herd of bulls, so it's possible Maeve is trying to rescue her friend. Of course, there are several beautiful shots of the park's landscape throughout the trailer. The western aesthetic of the park is familiar, but it has a more cinematic feel. This is probably the result of an increased budget, which is necessary since Season 2 will probably be more action-packed. One of the more popular fan theories from Season 1 that is still unresolved is whether or not Westworld was built on another planet, particularly Mars. This shot right here features a blood-orange plateau, but there really isn't much to go on for this theory. Still, it is food for thought. My two favorite shots of the trailer feature the all-white, unfinished host who is made up of artificial bones and muscle tissue. In one shot, he walks behind Bernard, and in another shot, he appears to murder a Westworld employee. Season 2 is set to explore how the hosts are actually made, and what they're made of. My theory concerning this unfinished host is that he might be carrying the consciousness of Dr. Ford, and this is his unfinished, ghost-like body. There are theories that Dr. Ford is still alive, or that he created a host that contains his memories. Fans point to the scene where Ford had Bernard kill Teresa. You can see Ford overlooking one of his machines in the early stages of building a new host. Some fans even think that the man who was killed by Dolores in the season finale was not Dr. Ford, but a host that he created to resemble himself. This scene could be a reunion between Bernard and his mentor. In this second shot, the host seems to murder this employee, or scientist, by pushing him into a circular device. You can see how in one frame he is clean, and in the next, his coat is bloody. 
My other theory is that this host may be Peter Abernathy after being stripped down to the bone by Westworld security. Maybe he's lost his artificial skin and he's just become a rogue assassin for the hosts. There's also one more shot I wanted to discuss, which features a set of soldiers. Now in season one, we had the theme of the Civil War, the Union soldiers and the Confederate soldiers. So this could be a new narrative that is going to play out in season two, or it could be a flashback, the beginning of the post-Civil War narrative that pit these two sides against each other. Well, there you have it, the first official trailer for Westworld Season 2. It doesn't give much away about the story, we can only speculate, and that's what I like about a trailer. Just give me some shots, get me excited for the coming season, and I'm sure we're going to have a lot to talk about this spring. Do you have any theories of your own? Comment, like, share, subscribe. Westworld's back, baby! Hey guys, thank you for watching this video, and before we go, I want to quickly thank our Patreon supporters. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to grow and evolve as a channel, so thank you for your generous pledges. If you are interested in supporting our channel through Patreon, visit www.patreon.com nerdsoup, and you can see the different rewards we offer to our Patreon supporters. T-shirts, mugs, stickers, access to our behind-the-scenes video, and more. Thanks again for watching this video, and make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Or dislike, don't share, and unsubscribe. It's a binary world, folks.